Oh, this is good shit. Oh, we got an escape point. Mind game. There are three doors, and one of them behind them are zombies. If you use the correct door, you can escape safely. But if you choose the wrong door, check now. Power, you need one. Oh. Let's do it. Oh. Oh. We got we got pick one. We have a 90% chance. What color? Team Valor. Valor. Okay. There you go. Fucking Valor. Oh, here we go. Oh. Boost! We win! We went to the beach! <laughs> yeah! Escape zombies, you go to the Fuck beach. Mystic! It's all about Valor, bitch. <laughs> See? Valor takes you to the beach. Congratulations, you passed through the mind game. Let's continue the story. Alright, sweet. This time, the pipe hit so hard it sunk into the zombie's head. Ah! <laughs> ah. Mark! Mr. Sakaki scooped me up and carried me away. I'm alright. I tried telling him that so he wouldn't worry about me. You don't have to act tough in front of me. Just leave it to me. Well. But we don't have time for this. They just keep getting back up. <laughs> okay. But that zombie didn't seem like it would be getting up. I wonder. Mr. Sakagi! More of the zombies Ooh! attacked him from either side, and he swung oh, the dude. pipe at the close at the closer one. Dude, we got Levi and fucking Mikasa. Is that Mikasa? I don't that know. A chick? It looks like a chick. It does I don't know? Maybe I was gonna say Aaron, but you know. Oh yeah, because that's gay. Levi. I ship these two zombies. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <clears throat> Mark. Hit the deck. Rio shot down. Hit my dick. I mean deck. Hit the deck. <laughs> Rio shot down the zombie on the opposite side. Mark, are you all Why right? Didn't fucking capitalize R. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these things get up quickly. Just as I said that, the zombie Rio had just shot, got up, and came at me. Again. What? Why did you go after her? Why not everyone else? Because she's the main character. And everyone needs to protect her. That's True. why. I wonder if. The dog will keep licking the water over there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki seemed to get an idea and muttered something. Then, aiming for the zombie's head, he swung the metal pipe down hard on its head. That zombie did not get back <laughs> up again. How are they just... I knew it. Hey, the head! Aim for the head! I don't think these people have delved into any zombie lore whatsoever. Did you ever watch fucking, like, 28 Days Later? You ever play fucking Left 4 Dead? You ever play Resident Evil? Oh, I think even me. I'm just saying, no, no, just the fucking, just <laughs> the people who made this goddamn fucking godforsaken piece of fucking shit gay. Calm down. God damn it. How do you not know it's a fucking head? I don't know. Oh my God. Apparently he figured it out. Oh, the the head? head? Oh, my bad. oh, go ahead. No, you did. You the did. head? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The ones I hit in the head haven't gotten back up. Got it. Did you guys hear him? Yeah. Loud and clear. Roger that. Leave the ones over here to me. I'll fucking stab them in the fucking head with my knife. Rio and the others answered back while shooting off their guns. Oh, dude, we, we keep getting that romance. <laughs> we keep getting all that romance Indeed power. Indeed do. Yeah, you right. I like how there's like footprints going from there to there. Because it's all the Zambies. Mm -hmm. This is the last one. So says you. <laughs> yeah, right? Ren muttered as he pulled the trigger. That was a close call. No shit. <laughs> After they started shooting him in the head, they were somehow able to kill all of the zombies. We can't just leave these things here. What are you going to do with them? Yeah, let's waste time during a zombie apocalypse to gather the bodies up and burn them. Because, you know, that's fucking practical. Where are we going to get the fucking gas? Where are we going to get a match to light the thing? What are we going to... Where's the fucking gas? Oh, remember, they pulled guns out of nowhere. So that's... They might have... How are they prepared for this? Well, he has a security guard, so... For the time being, I'll take a blood sample. Well, he's he's a scientist, though, so how is he... How he's he's he a better-dressed scientist. scientist. How would he know to have a gun? Like a shotgun, is, yeah, if you Yeah, like, a scientist don't carry shotguns. I understand if he would have a gun. Yeah, right? What are we gonna do now? As the three of them talked, a bunch of islanders had gathered around us. Are, are those things dead? They won't get back up again, will they? Ah, oh, father? Father, why? Why? That's what you Everybody hold on for a second. Okay, it's been a second. Alright. <laughs> the islanders wander around looking for family members among the dead zombies. Why? I don't know why you do that. They're pretty much dead. Don't but... touch those things. Don't touch those things! 
We can't touch them directly. We still don't know by what means the disease is contractible. What are you guys now? Yeah, our family members. We're, these are our family members we're talking about. I understand how you feel. No, you don't. But I still don't know why people are turning into these things. It's possible it could happen by just touching them. Don't speak outsider. This is my daughter. Ah, oh, her head has been smashed in. The islander went to pick up his daughter. Do you guys want to create more of these things? Aye, aye, aye. What did you say? <laughs> Just as he was about to hit Ren, the oh, hockey jumped boy. in between them. Wait, this man is a renowned virus specialist. I didn't even know that fucking existed. But if this, but if this is being caused by a virus. It's possible you can get infected. His words may be harsh, but he's looking out for your well-being. Please understand. Nothing says romance. No, I need more power. Well, nothing says romance. I like, power? That was a shame. I wish I could tell you how to get back your power. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm still here waiting for you. Hold on. You know, I could show you how to get back some of that power. By eating a nice, refreshing snack. Refreshing snack? God damn it. <laughs> you fucked that up. Yeah, fucking, fuck that god, fucking shit. That's not how you used to do some woman, Greg. <laughs> Alright, are we all back up? Yeah, we have five again. Alright, so let's go back to the story. Oh. That's right, we need to listen to them. You no, know, I still wish he was around. Right? I wish they I don't want to see around. any more casualties come from this. He's so cute. I don't want any more people to turn into one of these things. The islanders fell silent as Shoda spoke. Only a sobbing voice could be heard. <coughs> How can we convince them like this? There's no way they'll understand. Watching Shoda hold back his tears trying to comfort a hysterical old woman, I realized how powerful... I realized how powerful I was! I realized how powerless I was and my heart wrenched in pain. Rio, I'm going to take a blood sample. Give me a hand. Sure. Oh, yeah. Give it in a hand. There you go. He asked for a hand, so I gave him a hand. Sure. Sure. You're, t oh, you're, you're taking a blood sample? You're going to deform these people even more? It's a necessary step to be taken if we want to prevent further casualties. Man, the only thing on his freaking outfit that stylish is that watch. Yeah, I'll do a fucking Versace. Yeah, gonna, is that a watch? What's Versace. I don't know. I haven't even heard of that. What the fuck is... Greg, editing Greg, go look up Versace. Put a picture of it right over his face right there. I'm okay. laugh if that's not even a thrill. <laughs> Versace. Mr. Sakaki informed them in a grave tone. Everyone, please cooperate. We need to do as these people say. Why do you always hit me? Because I need to hit... Because if I hit the table, it makes a bunch of noise. But if I tap on you... But you have a leg. Who the fucking tap my leg? No, you tap your own leg. Ow. <laughs> It's not consoling enough. I guess it Shoda says so. I guess it Shoda says so. I'll listen to Shoda. I won't listen to you people, though. Whoa! Fucking no chill. The Islanders tried to hold back their anger as they looked on. I was in pain just looking at them, but I couldn't give up now. Sorry to bother you, but Vice Director, Miss Mark, <laughs> could you also give me a hand? Miss <laughs> Mark. Miss Mark. <laughs> Wait, sure. Why are you Mark <laughs> Fishbach? Why are you answering? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Taking blood samples from everybody would have taken too much time. I love how he asked for Miss Mark and Mr. Sakaki, like a fucking overbearing husband, is like, yes. Or a protective boyfriend. Yeah, right. So we decided to split up and take different samples, separating them by gender and age. So you have all of the, Hold on. Yeah, so you have all of this fucking time to do these fucking well, blood samples? I'm guessing it's not really a zombie apocalypse. Like, the, the islanders that got infected, they got rid of them all. So I'm guessing the population... How do we know that, though? I don't know. I'm just guessing from reading. I don't know. I mean, it's an ultimate game. I don't think it's that serious. Please don't touch them with your bare hands. Use these gloves. Whoop. Uh, understood. Let's get to work. I'll start over there. Will you be okay, Mark? You don't have to do it if you don't want to. 
I know I, I know I already said sure for you, but you don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm a scientist too, remember? Even though I actually wanted to be an engineer, but <laughs> Besides that, I want to help everyone. <laughs> I dropped out of college from being an engineer to be a goddamn scientist. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki smiled at me. Oh, okay. oh, dude, look at all the romance. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, it's growing slowly but surely. That love is getting there. Love's oh, in the dude. air, man. Love is... <laughs> it's something's in the air. I don't know if it's love. Is that probably a zombie thing? This is the, it's the zombie apocalypse. All right. Don't overdo yourself. That's what I get to do. Oh my god. I won't. I turn towards the body nearby and put my hands together in prayer. Forgive me for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> uh, good food, good meat, good God, let's eat. I mean, what? <laughs> Oh, we're not eating the I zombies. I bowed to the sobbing deceased's family and proceeded to draw a blood sample. Hey, he didn't pray to our god. We were able to get a few dozen sample, a dozen blood samples. That's a fucking lot. And all we have to do is incinerate the bodies. That's really sad, but incinerate? This isn't a joke, you know. We bury our dead on this island. Oh, no matter if it's because they're zombies or what have you, we won't let you take this any further. The islanders rallied in rage and protest to Lionel's idea. Are they correct? Or correct? Shut up. Just saying. I understand they're angry. If someone important to me ended up like this, like Mr. Sakaki, <laughs> Ren spoke calmly to each of the screaming islanders. If this is caused by a virus, it could easily infect others. It is possible to contract it even from the deceased. It is possible the same thing might happen again. Even more people will die. Then even more people will die. And they are killed. Rio's words almost seemed like a threat, but it was just the hard truth. The Islanders fell silent at Rio's words. Oh, it's you. Oh, me? Okay, step back. I'm going to light the fire. Using gasoline from... See? They had gasoline in the van! I know nothing about zombie pop... I'm seeing what? myself out the door. I don't understand anything. Oh my God. It's big fun! <laughs> Um, what the fuck is this bullshit? They got prepared. How, how are they prepared for this bullshit? They're scientists. This is what scientists... Scientists don't load guns and gasoline into a goddamn van ready to fucking shoot first and ask questions <laughs> later. They they think. They, they bring test tubes. They do chemistry. They do science. They, they test. They would do the blood sample bullshit. They don't load guns into a goddamn van oh. and put fucking, fucking bullshit, fucking well, shit gas in a fucking van. Wait, well, Lionel and, what's his name, Ren are not scientists. So Ren is a scientist. Rio's not the scientist. Oh, Re excuse me, Rio. But then why Lionel was Ren prepared? Was, <sighs> so, well, Ren's fiddly fart fucking around sitting there preparing his fucking zombie apocalypse kit. Maybe this would have fucking happened in the first place. <laughs> God damn, this makes me angry! Stop playing it! Then they had a fucking lighter too! You mean to fucking tell me? Using gasoline <laughs> from the van, Lionel hit the body on fire. Oh, shit. Lionel lit the body on fire with a lighter. God fucking damn it. Father. Father. Oh, she's burning. Her cute face. Her beautiful oh. wife. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, man. Lionel made sure not to touch the bodies as he set them on fire. A foul stench rose from the bodies, and I couldn't bear to open my eyes. I have to walk. You, you don't. You don't have you to don't walk. have to fucking watch. You can turn away out of respect or grossness. Like, I don't know. Or grossness. You know, maybe if it makes you uneasy, no one's going to blame oh, you. Oh, dude, we got 20 romance XP. <laughs> For watching bodies burn. Dude. Oh man, nothing gets me all romanticized like watching oh, body burn. Romanticized? I don't fucking know. Let's go back to the goddamn story. I'm already mad at this fucking game. No matter how bad my eyes hurt or my heart writhed, I didn't tear. I didn't dare take my eyes off the horrible scene. I watched the sobbing families through the flames. I wanted to burn the horrible sight of these poor islanders into my eyes for. Why? What? Why? You, you want to remember this forever? What? 
I don't get this. You don't want this to happen. I don't, That's the problem. I don't get this maker. I can never forget the sound of these screams either. I don't know. I said you never forget the names out of the screams. Besides me, Mr. Sakaki was staring the same way I was at everything. Oh, I didn't mean to. If anything else happens, contact us immediately. Rio gave his orders to Shoda and then headed back towards the van. Oh, and here's my number. I want to make sure you're safe, Shoda. Oh I ship them. They are my OTP. Let me tell you why I ship Rio and Shoda. Because they protect one another. Rio's the one that went after Shoda. Shoda's feeling neglected. Rio's probably lonely. And when someone's feeling neglected and the other person's feeling lonely, they can keep each other company. And you want to know what happens with that? That happens. That, that is yaoi. how you make the penises kiss, and I ship it. And that's how Yowie is made. And that is how Yowie is made. All right. We followed him silently. We'll just we'll just cause more pain for these people if we stay. Just like you didn't do enough. With a heavy weight on our shoulders, we climbed in the van one by one. Whoa! It was close. Mark. to be serious. <laughs> this game can't be, you can't fucking take this game seriously. Mark, are you alright? As soon as we got in the van, Mr. Sakaki questioned me, worried about me. Oh, do you want a little tired or I'm alright? Mm, maybe we should be honest say we're a little tired? I'm a little tired. I would say I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm just a little tired. I guess that can't be helped. It was a tough sight to watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just looking at his eyes. <laughs> that is the face. That is the face of a man that is incredibly worn out. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki looked incredibly worn. I just realized you. He 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 <laughs> is so <laughs> worn out. He can barely keep his eyes open. Oh, you're telling me he always never keeps his eyes open? Okay. He just looks so deep in fucking thought. So. Did I leave the stove on? <laughs> like you should put a little on bubble. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's thinking really hard. He's all, I have to poop. <laughs> Man, this these zombies gave me a mad case of diarrhea. <laughs> it's gross. Oh. In silence, Mr. Sakaki grasped my hand. There's not, not enough fucking sexual tension already. Mr. Sakaki, you shouldn't try to overdo yourself either. That's my job, too. I mean... Mr. Sakaki smiled wryly. Ry ry is that even a word? Yeah, it is. Wryly at me. I had never thought I'd be the one to worry about. Okay. He said it jokingly, but I could see some relief in his eyes. Thanks. He patted my head just like he always did as he thanked me. Now wait till I grab your hair while you're sucking me off later. <laughs> I mean... Then he fixed his gaze towards the front of the van and quietly opened his mouth. By the way, can I ask you something? <laughs> Rio, hands still on the wheel, looked back through the rearview mirror. I'm pretty sure I know what you're gonna ask, but sure, go ahead. Who are you people? You're not just ordinary security guards, and Red isn't some ordinary scientist, are oh, you? Oh, I think we're gonna get some answers, Greg. NEXT TIME ON TSG! Oh, he sent you a love letter. Oh, oh! Before we end this episode, we gotta read the love letter! Okay. Alright, are you ready? What on earth is happening? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Ready? Mm -hmm. What on earth is happening? That mysterious death of the islanders... That he... That mysterious death of the of that islander, and then he rose from the dead as a zombie. Rio and them are government hired workers. Everything is so confusing. Even still, I'll protect you no matter what. Whatever you do, never leave my side. Did he just spoil that they're hired workers? <laughs>